biggest stadium that UGS has had uh, from the previous two. I think, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure uh, that's what Asaris has told me <laughs> or production told me. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't remember the exact amount of engines we got this time. I know we... I think it was like 170 Yeah, 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 after DQs. Yeah, so um, probably seems about right. I, I know Saturday Stadium 2 was a smaller bracket, mm. and it was super top-heavy. Yeah, for sure. But uh, we're going to hop right into this, starting on PS2, uh, where we're going to see a lot of games today. And we're going to see... Yeah, this is honestly just like a Pokemon battle. Like, yeah. This is, <laughs> like this we're is just playing Pokemon, Pokemon now. We're yeah. not even playing so much. <laughs> But uh, Yukit is, um, he's from further down uh, southern Illinois. Mm. Um, the last time I saw him play outside of Frosty uh, Faustings was Show Me Your Moves, where it's the first time I'd ever seen him. Um, and he was terrifying. Like, one of the better Puff players that I've seen in a while. So I'm excited to see this. And Brandino is not an ultimate player. Like, he doesn't really play the game oh, too, okay. too much. Um, but he's going on kind of a run right now. Yeah, especially with a strong character like PT and Charizard as well, just going to find that back air and clutching out that first stock from Yukit. Uh, I mean, yeah, PT is a pretty strong character as well, yeah. but I mean, especially, you know, knowing Jigglypuff, I mean, she's definitely got her momentum as well and the floatiness, so it can definitely help. Yeah, and it's going to be it's going to be kind of an uphill battle uh, when you have Charizard out and whatnot, but uh, Yukit finding that back air to secure that first stock and uh, not too much of a deficit between the two. Yeah, not really. Just kind of even it out now and just kind of throwing out stray hits and whatnot. Brandino keeping that ledge trap pressure on, though, switching to, switching to that Ivysaur as well. Yeah, and Ivysaur can be scary at the ledge mm. when it comes to, you know, that nair off stage and then that down air for the two frame. Yeah. But um, you can find a way back and getting a parry on that back air. Let's see how far he's able to push this. Yeah, I mean, definitely racking up the percentage right now. Finally taking advantage of that air momentum and that edge guarding space. Is Brandino going to be able to recover just barely with that up special right there, up and B? Yeah, the armor on fly really, really helping him out. Not uh, those lingering puff aerials mm -hmm. being such an important tool when edge guarding. So having fly and uh, even to an extent uh, flare blitz is going to help Brandino a lot getting back to stage. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be a. Uh, risky option. Though. I mean, flare blitzing. I mean, yeah. you, you got to be careful, especially <laughs> against Puff. I mean, it's a little dicey, but again, kind of just throwing a hit that's going to take a stock here, and Yuki going to take that second stock off of Brandino now, and switching right to the Ivysaur. Yeah, I feel like Ivysaur is probably going to be a little bit... Uh, it's hard to say because I don't see a lot of Jigglypuffs, mm. but it feels like Ivysaur is probably where you're getting a lot of your money's worth. Oh. Uh, ooh, that just barely killed. Yeah, I thought, I thought Brandino was going to live that, but unfortunately just sent too far off into the blast zone. Yeah, but you can take the first game, uh, and I'm excited to see where we go. Although something tells me we're gonna end up back on PS2. Oh, are, oh. are we are we counter picking? Are we? I no. Yeah, no, no, hold on, no, hold on, no, 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 <laughs> hold on, hold on, no, no, don't. I'm not gonna say if there's anything no. To go to Lila. Okay. Now you're yeah. Wait. <laughs> We're wait, back to stage. Wait. I really. I Are always, we going back to? P <laughs> I always love when it takes a long time for them to pick stages, only to end up on <laughs> PS2. Anyways, <laughs> it's like why? Why did we it's, do this? It's gonna be the death of us. We're trying to figure out like, okay, they're gonna ban this stage because they don't want platforms, and then they just go back We're, to PS2. It's always PS2. <laughs> it's gonna be PS2 until until the end of time. When in doubt, lock in PS2. Yeah. But uh, good. We'll see how Brandino is able to adapt. Um, I haven't watched Brandino play too, too much. Um, I think the only game I've ever watched Brandino play is chess. I played a game of chess <laughs> against him once, and that's about the only time I've seen him play. Well, I mean, in some kind of sense, I mean, Smash is kind of like chess. I mean, you got to, you know, be a couple steps ahead of your opponent and whatnot. But again, I mean, when you're going against strong people, it's kind of hard to just get a read on them because you never know what you're going to yeah. get, honestly. But especially against a, such a hidden boss, as like a hidden boss who is as good as you get, who is just going to do stuff like that. Oh my god. Just a quick uh, kill off the side there. Um, could barely even see it. Yeah, that was like a 30 second stock, I, I believe so. So that's a yeah. very strong start for Yukit here, especially under 100%. That's very nice. And ooh, getting a little damage ooh. percentage, especially on that punish there for that random up E from Bandino. Yeah, and waiting for the the switch on the off of Ivy. Oh my god. <laughs> so much for extra credit. Just yeah. Ivy sort like up air and it's over. That uh, that move is big. 
That was so it bad. really is. Up air and air, honestly. Yeah, it's just... and I believe they nerfed one of them. I don't remember which one they nerfed. <laughs> it doesn't look like they nerfed but either. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It's still massive. It still kills super early. Yeah, for sure. So, um, but Brandina, uh, I, I mean, Yukit is doing a really good job not really letting that stock kind of phase him too, too much. Although Brandino is on the prowl. Yeah, for sure. Already, like, evening out that percentage slowly, but surely getting to that 80% mark here. There it is. And again, just able to bring it back slowly. We'll see how Brandino's gonna. Brandino's been fighting on the ledge, on both ledges, what feels like forever now. Yukit is doing such a good job just ledge trapping and not letting him get too much, but we've got Charizard on deck. That heavyweight is gonna help secure uh, a little bit more health on him, and oh my god. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I said that Flare Blitz was risky. That's gonna kill. But the up, <laughs> up special is gonna take it that time. I don't know, man. I saw that Flare Blitz coming from a mile away, and I was just scared. Yeah, I'm surprised that Yukit wasn't able to actually get a punish on it, but it doesn't matter. Oh. The pound is going to secure a shield break for a stock, and Brandino knew knew that it was happening, so he took a second to stretch himself out a little bit and um, uh, get his head back into the game. Clean slate from both these players, though. So game two, I mean, this is still kind of the beginning, granted, as well, that all of sets today are best of five as yeah. well, so... We won't, we won't see some clean 2-0 here. At least, at least it's, it's got to be a 3-0. But we'll yeah. see if Brandino can bring this out, back, though. Yeah, and, and he's playing super patient right now, just kind of walling out Yukit, waiting for his opening. And he found it, not able to actually get too, too much off of it. But, uh, I mean, if he can keep this up, he's going to definitely take a very quick lead. Yeah, Ivysaur definitely is good at racking up that percentage, given as well Brandino is kind of playing safe, playing it uh, cautiously and whatnot. And it's all just kind of racking up to like chip damage, which is still good because Ivysaur yeah. is a heavy hitter. Oh yeah, Ivysaur's uh, damage output is kind of insane. Mm -hmm. And I've seen entire sets played just with Ivysaur because Ivysaur is just that good. Right. I but. mean, you get though, kind of taking stage control right now. Putting that ledge pressure as well. Yeah, we're off stage. Another, yeah, off stage sock edge guard. Yeah, that's Ooh. that's what you get once you're off stage against Jigglypuff. I mean, that, you can't be off stage too long. <laughs> yeah, no, that lingering nair, uh, just hitting that very first hit, super strong, and just killing him before Flare Blitz could even go anywhere, and uh, securing that game number two. Uh, I'm liking Yukit's play. It's super calm, super collected, super calculated. Um, not a lot of not a lot of holding back. When he gets in, he gets in, and he he does as much as he can, and then he can back off and kind of mm -hmm. he's he's okay with backing off and letting you kind of rock on your own. Yeah, especially just being able to know your character as well and like your limits as well. So it's a pretty good uh, presentation here from Yukit as well. And again, just like the air time that Yukit spends and whatnot, um, edge guarding as well. It's just it works so well, and obviously we see stocks that have been taken off Brandino. So. This momentum does not seem like it's going to stop anytime soon. Yeah, and he's going so deep for these edge guards. Mm -hmm. Yukit has 0% on him. Brandino has been unable to get a uh, hit in. But I think as long as he stays on Ivy Sword, he's going to be in good hands because he's going to prevent himself from getting nared off stage with that tether. Yeah, might need to switch to Charizard, though, sooner or later to tank more hits. Unless Yukit closes his first stock out. Who yes, knows? It's getting kind of hard for Brandino here. Unable to really make much work not getting hit by that um that razor leaf and now Yukit is kind of having a hard time securing the stock here and i'm really want brandino to just keep pushing that advantage they yeah for sure i mean just just a lot of shielding going on i mean given you know either player doesn't want to lose their first stock so it's kind of just looking risky here and the charizard is going to come out to play here is Brandino going to find the stock with Charge? Oh, okay. Uh, it's that grab. Yeah, it's a little scary. Now that's your off stage. Yeah, but we've almost got a max rage Charizard. So yeah. one good hit coming out from him. Uh, if Yukit isn't too, isn't careful enough on his shield, that's going to be real bad for him. So Yukit's going to have to play real safe here uh, before he gets just kind of... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, just kind of opting for all those aerials. It's pretty much in Yukit's favor. Okay, well... <laughs> Just got out of here, I guess. <laughs> down, uh, <laughs> quick down smash with Squirtle. I actually, I like Squirtle combos more than I like anybody else's on the on PC. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Squirtle looks cool when he does it. <laughs> it it's, I, I don't know. I, I think I just like smaller combo characters. That's fair. Like Pichu? Yeah, I love Pichu. <laughs> Do you remember when everyone just did not like Pichu yeah. in the beginning of Ultimate because they thought Pichu was so broken? He, he was pretty bad. <laughs> like he, he, was, he was pretty messed everyone up. Everyone was playing Pichu. <laughs> We're not here to see Pichu, though. We're here to see these two Pokemon yeah, yeah, yeah. duel it out on PS2, by oh, the way. That, that Nair, sending out three Nairs at a time to just 
that it lingers for so long, man. And it's a kill move, wow. and it's going to secure another stock for Yukit. Uh, putting Bradino on his winner's side stock. This is just the bread and butter right now for Yukit. I mean, just, again, opting for all those errors, especially that <laughs> fair, but Brandino going to get that 1-2 finally of that Ivysaur. Going to have to, you know, do some damage here now to reclaim this game to go on to a reversal, possibly. Yeah, it, uh, really clutch coming up from Bandino to get that that uh, down air and uh, up air. And we'll see if he's able to keep pushing this because Yuki is just kind of taking so much of his time and he's perfectly content with it. And we've got it started here. Nice patience coming out from Yuki after the pound, waiting for the shield drop. And we'll see how much further he can push this advantage stage. Still pretty even here. I mean, not a lot of percent on either or play here, but again, percent slowly just getting higher and higher right now on, on UK, so it's looking a little dangerous now for UK here, but I'm not Ooh. too worried about it. I mean, given the momentum we've seen from UK, I mean... Yeah, and good uh, grab, and now you're off stage oh. against Puff. Gotta be careful, but that Nair is not gonna break through that fly armor. Brandino has an extra life here to play with. Yeah, this is looking an advantage right now for Brandino if they can find this stock off of UK here on this ledge. It's gonna be tricky given that Puff is just gonna, you know, bounce around you basically and just float away. <laughs> yeah, and just playing right outside of that range of Charizard. But we get a grab, up throw, might kill. Not no. just yet, not enough rage on deck for Brandino to get that to kill. So we'll see, oh my god, that air dodge goes for it, I think. Yeah, a One good tipper back oh, air. Missing the grab, oh my gosh. This okay, now we're scary. just throwing out options. Like, yeah, yeah, this is this is oh, real spaghetti here, but I think this should do it. I think this should do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Brandino finally putting one up. Yeah, on the at board. 120 center of stage, you're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brandino bringing it back game three. Yeah. Literally, like, the set game. Yes. So yeah. Re really good composure coming up yeah. from Brandino there. Hanging on by a thread there, reclaiming that game, and gonna be moving on now to game four. Who knows if we're going to see a counter stage now or if we're just going to run it back to PS2 again. We're, I, I feel it in my bones that we're going to be on PS2 again. <laughs> I mean... They're really thinking about it, they, though. They were hovering over Lilac. Okay. Counter? I'm, I'm cool with my battlefield. If they go back to PS2... Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Yeah, we chill, we chill. <laughs> Finally, some change of scenery for, for everybody here, but uh, I, I think the idea here is that it, it's a lot, not a lot smaller, but the, the stage is slightly smaller than PS2, um, so it gives you a little bit less room to play around with, um, which I think when it comes to a character uh, as P with PT, you know, who are super combo heavy with Squirtle and Ivysaur, I, I think that giving them less room to kind of play around you is actually a lot better for you. But uh, the scroll combo is going out. Ooh, nice turnaround for the back air. 59% sitting on Yukit. Let's see. We're seeing a lot more scroll this game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, from that last game and even the game two, I believe, we saw a lot of Ivysaur coming out from Brandino and that Charizard as well. But that quick little 50, 60% combo from Squirtle gonna slowly help out but again once you're off stage off of Jigglypuff it's gonna be really hard to flare oh. it and just landing in that unfortunate first dog taken by Yukit. Yeah catching the flare blitz twice in a row but oh uh Brandino, that wave almost killed. Yeah no Brandino is not happy about it and one good hit could really spell uh Yukit's stock if Brandino plays his cards right but I mean Brand uh Yukit is playing so so calm right now and I can see just inklings here and there of him just waiting patiently mm -hmm. just for the right hit. And Brandino is going to secure a quick little up air to take that stock, only 50%. Yeah, it just seems like the Ivysaur is just definitely doing more damage than the other Pokemon at this yeah. rate. I mean, it, it's definitely a definitely heavy hitter, so I don't blame Brandino here. And it's just struggling a little bit to get some stage control on. Yeah, that's that's been the most... I think that's been the biggest issue so far is just being able to land a hit... Uh, keeping stage control has yeah. been kind of the the follow uh, falling apart of Brandino. Yeah, the scary thing as well as, as small battlefield given that the side blast zones are shorter. So I had a feeling this was going to happen where you kid was just going to take take Brandino on a ride into the side blast yeah, zone. Just, there it is. Yeah, that, another that's another one. That's why I was scared of this stage. Yeah, <laughs> or town and city even. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm praying for you, Brandino. <laughs> Brandino losing his stock pretty quick there, right as he switched to Charizard, mind you. So you kid is keeping those switch timings in mind to uh, punish him. So we'll see what. Brandino can do here before he gets sent down to losers because he's again on his last stock for the for his winner side. 
Yeah, I mean, given as well, like, you kid just having the patience and, like, keeping the momentum still, even though, like, using a couple stocks here and there and even the previous game, I mean, just completely unfazed and, you know, just giving Brandino a hard time, honestly. Like, yeah. trying to decide, like, when should I switch? When should I do damage as Ivy Sword? How do I even approach Puff? Oh, he's offstage. Oh! Ooh! He had it, though. He, he, he did have it. it. He literally he, he saw into it. the future. He, he had it, and there's an up air, so... Uh, just barely missing out with the up air, and now Brandino is able to ledge trap. We'll see what he's able to get here. But uh, yeah, you he's can't. trying to go for that grab. It's kind of risky, honestly. Yeah. At this percent, I. <laughs> yeah, this is scary. Oh my god, <laughs> Charizard is so fast. I did not realize how fast he was. Oh. Oh man, this is just really tough. You got to find one good move. Okay, there's a Nair coming out yeah. back here, possibly. Ooh. Oh. Okay, or fair as well, I believe. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, that was okay. fair. Yeah. Good stuff to, to Brandino. Catching uh, Yuka, trying to go back to ledge, but that aggressive uh, flare blitz <laughs> to get back to stage. And I, to me, personally, I kind of want to see the switch just so uh. we can get a little bit more damage off yeah. because with such a big body, it is so Ooh. much easier for Pup to edge guard. Yeah, this is looking tough right now for Brandino. Just unable to land on stage. And again, Yuka, once again, just adding all this pressure on off stage, even on ledge, I mean, it's just tough right now. Yeah, Brandino is unable to land a solid hit, but he gets a back throw oh. with a tipper uh, this back This could turn it around. Max Rage is on deck here. Yeah. You're a uh, big body, Charizard Ooh. given. Uh, this could turn around for Brandino right now. Yeah, if he's careful, oh. but just barely oh. missing. Oh. Ooh, if that that's a landed, scary okay. flare jab. blitz. Oh my gosh, barely hanging on right now. 200%. Yeah. Oh man, that up air just... <laughs> You never see Puff up air kill on its own. Yeah, I, I, yeah, really. you never see that. It's no. usually up air into a confirm. But yeah. good stuff to Yuki taking that game. Although Brandino made it pretty competitive every uh, every game. 